Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 20 scariest anime of all time. <gasps> For this list, we'll be looking over the anime that best encapsulated all things terrifying, from the psychologically traumatizing all the way to your typical gore fest. Number 20. The Flowers of Evil Because no amount of anime monsters can compare to the stress and depravity that only high school can deliver. After being caught doing something he really shouldn't, I a helpless student is blackmailed into fulfilling the tasks of a classmate, where it doesn't take long for the lines between fear, love, hate, and shame to all mingle together in one thrilling package. <laughs> The rotoscoping effect might not be to everyone's taste, but the ordeals these youths put themselves through easily pushes past the visuals to make for an unsettling watch. <laughs> Number 19. Yami Shibai – Japanese Ghost Stories if you're in the mood for some authentic Japanese horror, then look no further than this anthology that's still going strong to this day. <laughs> the Theater of Darkness plays host to a series of five-minute spooky spectacles, and while the animation might seem limited at first, the minimalist approach allows the creepy narratives to shine all the stronger. <laughs> goes to show how with the right tools, a lot can be done with very little, which in this case means they scare the bejeebas out of us on a frighteningly low budget. <laughs> Number 18. Erased A great mystery can lead the way to some tremendous storytelling, and in that same vein, a hell of a lot of tension. After being transported back in time to when he was a child, Satoru has to not only find a way to prevent his mother's murder, but go about altering the past to change the fates of his abused friend, Kayo. And to top it all off, there's a child kidnapper slash killer to contend with. Few have managed to combine the classic trappings of a whodunit with time travel as well as this seminal outing. Number 17, Elfin Lead. You know a person has to be a special kind of scumbag when the audience is actively rooting for the mass murderer who tears people apart with invisible psychic arms. No! Relentless in her revenge, Lucy's rampage is one born of a lifetime of prejudice against her due to the fact she's a Diclonius. And while her frequent slaughter fests can be hard to stomach, knowing what she endured and the deaths the so-called civilized people resorted to just to get a rise out of her makes it a tad easier to swallow. How dare you cut my arm off! <laughs> This anime has prepubescent kids who happily bludgeon a dog to death. You're damn right they deserved a vector to the face. Don't worry, I don't plan to let you suffer much longer. Number 16, Mononoke. While it presents itself as more of an episodic supernatural affair with tinges of action, you'd be hard-pressed to not be unnerved by the medicine seller's Ginny as he battles and exercises the demonic spirits known as Mononoke.
the way in which these otherworldly horrors influence and trample on the lives of the innocent and guilty alike. <laughs> whether it be through delusions, pregnancy, or outright murder, was pretty chilling to watch unfold, especially when combined with the anime's psychedelic animation style. <laughs> Number 15, Helsing Ultimate. Did someone call for hyper-violent gunslinging vampires? Good, because one way or another, Alucard's gonna show up. <laughs> As the Helsing organization's ace in the hole, the former Count now spends his time blasting away everything else that goes bump in the night. While the violence is certainly crowd-pleasing at times, there are elements here that are as dark as you can get. Shokun. Between Ceres' tormented history, the gruesome demise of numerous innocents, as well as the abundance of Nazi vampires, there's no stone this anime won't touch in order to turn up the fear factor. <laughs> Number 14, Corpse Party, Tortured Souls. While many will point you in the direction of the original game, this OVA is still a great time if you want to see the bloody highlights. Or just happen to be in the mood to see a group of unfortunate students find themselves transported into a haunted school. <laughs> And unluckily for them, these particular ghosts prefer to do their hauntings via relentless stabbing. <laughs> the brutality here is certainly on another level, making it for a very macabre viewing. But at least Sachiko is an entertaining villain, as far as homicidal ghost girls go. <laughs> Number 13, School Live. Anime high schools and zombie apocalypses tend to go hand in hand, though few have added a twist quite like this one. <gasps> While Yuki believes herself to be enjoying another day at school with her close-knit friend group, the truth of the matter is that the world has gone to shit, and in effort to spare her already fractured mental state, Yuki's friends are doing everything possible to keep the truth away from her, while struggling to survive against the encroaching undead horde. <laughs> Two types of dread for the price of one. <laughs> Number 12, Devilman Crybaby. Taking a classic famed for its unrelenting darkness and bringing it to the modern age is a timed and true practice for the medium with middling results. Devilman stands at the very top. <laughs> not only for its major upgrade in visuals, but for how it so fluidly conveyed the utter wretchedness of the world Acura inhabits. No other anime has painted such a bleak picture of humanity's paranoia, aggressiveness, and madness. <laughs> It's certainly tough to watch at times, to the extent that by the end you'll be begging to go back to watch Devilman rip apart demons in a nightclub. <laughs> Number 11, Made in Abyss. Don't let the adorable designs of its main cast fool ya. It's just another tool that this beautifully horrific anime uses to inspire grief as they descend further into the titular abyss. <laughs> Oh, my God.
between the monsters they encounter, the effects of the curse, and the lapsing morals of its denizens, there is no shortage of unsettling and upsetting vistas that Rico and Reg are forced to endure as they descend ever deeper in search of her missing mother. <laughs> Just when you think you've gotten over everything that happens to one character, another enters the picture and the cycle of trauma starts all over. And yet, we still keep watching. <laughs> Number 10, Umineko When They Cry. Sharing its name with a much more iconic horror anime that we'll get to later, Umineko is a respectable adaptation of the seventh expansion's visual novel. The story revolves around the Ushiromiya family, who meet up on an island retreat due to the patriarch being on his deathbed. This then springs into a murder mystery that's heavy on mind games and supernatural shenanigans. <laughs> Sprinkling in several shockers and unanswered questions along the way, the anime scares may be diluted, but when it hits, it hits pretty hard. Number 9, Shiki. A slow-moving thriller about a group of vampires trying to take over a human village who refuse to acknowledge their existence, this one is not for the faint of heart. While only sporadically terrifying, Shiki rewards patience with an unforgettable final stretch of episodes that are so unapologetically nihilistic and graphic. Hi, Yugi. With challenging themes and realistic, if not necessarily likeable characters, it subverts expectations by recontextualizing the idea of good and evil. Humanity and the Shiki's capacity for horrific acts fuel the anime's psychological terror, culminating in a last act that is unsettling in its openness. <laughs> Number 8, Angel's Egg. Before directing the likes of Ghost in the Shell, Mamoru Oshii released the almost impenetrable Angel's Egg. Following a girl who lives in a desolate world and guards an egg, this bizarre classic is heavy on the symbolism and light on story or dialogue. As hard as the movie can be to decipher, it does feature a nightmarishly beautiful art style that is haunting on a primal level. The visuals are its most immediately gripping feature, but the theme of lost faith also adds to the film's sense of isolation. Number 7, The Promised Neverland. <laughs> Centered around a group of orphans living at the seemingly idyllic Gracefield house, their image of a peaceful life goes up in flames when the oldest learn that their home is actually a farm that raises children as food for a monstrous species lurking just out of sight. With their own mother figure serving as an additional antagonist, heroes who have yet to hit puberty, and some of the creepiest facial expressions in anime, The Promised Neverland delivers its scares through constant suspense and an ever-present feel that something could and likely will go wrong at any second. Number 6, Parasite. Horror comes in many shapes and styles. 
with this series being the forerunner when it comes to gore and body disfiguration. <laughs> When parasitic aliens take to using human bodies as makeshift homes, a timid teenager ends up with a talking right hand. A character-driven psychological thriller with a lot of action and even bigger body counts, Parasite does a great job at balancing its separate elements, resulting in an anime that is accessible but also unique. <laughs> While being scary is not always its main focus, Parasite frequently ramps up the terror through its effective monster designs and blood-soaked kills. <laughs> Number 5. Midori Ko The other is a common theme in the horrorscape, but it usually comes in the form of an outsider interacting with the familiar. Putting aside a somewhat cute intro, Midori Ko is entirely devoted to the strange, crafting a world where everything is surreal and there are only traces of recognizable reality, mainly concerning the female main character. Grotesque entities, both human and vegetable hybrids, populate Keita Kurosaka's ambitious and gorgeous work of art, presenting a universe where hunger has run rampant. <laughs> The art style is already unsettling, but paired with its terrific sound design, it becomes something that will make your blood chill. <laughs> Number 4. Another Ever since a middle school student passed away, her class has been subjected to some rather peculiar incidents, even gaining a reputation for being cursed. Naturally, new transfer student Koichi transfers into said class, finding himself drawn to the enigmatic eyepatch wearing Mei Misaki. I should ask why you are here. So, why? <laughs> and then the killing starts. Another's death scenes are so graphic and abundant that it could be dismissed as nothing more than a gore fest. But that's not completely fair. Its core mystery is sturdy enough that it will keep you roped in. All the while, it conjures up more and more creative ways to have these unlucky souls meet an early grave. Don't forget your umbrella. Number 3. Serial Experiments Lane An anime so ahead of its time that it was borderline prophetic in its prediction of the online world's influence on identity. While a lonely and timid girl in real life, Lane soon finds herself morphing into a destructive and cruel person on The Wired, which is basically the internet on steroids. <laughs> While perhaps not frightening in the traditional sense, it is consistently disconcerting. Be it through its sparse but effective music, existential themes, or unexpected divergences. Serial Experiments Lane is unpredictable, unusual, but also strangely relatable, which makes the whole experience all that more unnerving. <gasps> Number 2. Higurashi When They Cry In a nutshell, cute girls doing horrifying things. What have I done to make you lie to me? To me? It's the truth. No, it's not! <laughs> An anime that follows multiple timelines revolving around different and oh-so-dangerous waifus, Keiichi Maibara moves to a rural village that seems perfectly ordinary at first. But that could not be further from the truth. What is this thing? It's a device for tearing off fingernails. <gasps> While the second season leans away from horror, When They Cry's opening run features a constant cycle of bowels emptying imagery, alarming reveals, foreboding, and flashes of visually striking violence with characters who seem capable of disturbing acts of insanity at any instance. Just don't eat the rice balls. <clears throat> The 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Perfect Blue Satoshi Kon's classic thriller is a tense look into the entertainment industry and the way a divide can occur between a person's reality and the characters they inhabit. When Mima decides to leave a pop idol group and become an actress, she is greeted with resistance from fans, a stalker, and internal conflict. Perfect Blue's biggest scares come courtesy of Mimania, Mima's hair-raising predator whose relationship with reality is loose at best. Mima also grows increasingly incapable of distinguishing reality from fiction, which the film portrays to perfection, leading itself to transitions guaranteed to shatter psyches. <laughs> Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.